spike in gun violence across the U.S. has spurred a swift response by Washington. Nationally and locally, it is a day of action. Melissa Estock takes us to Bergen County to show us how local policymakers are taking that action. Democrats who led last week's 25-hour sit-in marked today as National Day of Action to continue their fight against gun violence. The NRA is not the problem. I'll tell you what the problem is. The problem is the spineless members of Congress who are worried about them making the false vote or a wrong vote and then everybody being on their case from the NRA. Democrats like Congressman Bill Pascrell expressed they would not fall silent until Republicans in the House would allow a vote on gun control measures. Every day, communities are torn apart because there are those in Congress who will not allow us to take action to address gun violence. Reportedly every day, 300 people in America are shot and 90 people in America die from gun violence. Since 2004, 2,000 terrorists have legally purchased weapons in the United States. Meanwhile, more than 90 percent of suspected terrorists who tried to purchase guns in the last 11 years walked away with their weapon of choice. Some people shouldn't be able to buy a gun. It's as simple as that. Suspected terrorists shouldn't be able to buy guns. Right now, someone on the FBI's terrorist list can go into a gun store, walk out with a firearm of their choosing legally. That's dangerous, and it makes no sense. In addition to terrorists, we need to keep guns from criminals, domestic abusers, and the dangerously mentally ill. One piece of legislation Pascrell is pushing for is the bipartisan Denying Firearms and Explosives to Dangerous Terrorists Act, amid saying if one cannot fly on a plane, one shouldn't be able to purchase a gun. Other events held throughout the Garden State for National Day of Action Against Gun Violence. Congressman Frank Pallone held a sit-in and discussion in New Brunswick. Meanwhile, Democratic Representative Bonnie Watson Coleman held a roundtable in Trenton. And Congressman Donald Norcross participated in a March for Love in Camden County. Reporting in Saddlebrook, Melissa Estock, WNBC News.